Hey guys, this is a quick video in response to some comments and questions I've been getting about uh, my IS200 uh, conversion vi uh, video, the 1JZ conversion videos, and um, more so around the differential. So, Talman Budsarin, sorry if I've pronounced your name wrong there, um, you've sent through a couple of questions and I thought it'd be easier to just uh, explain in, uh, uh, yeah, in rather than type it through because it's it's a bit complex. So your question that uh, you've asked recently was your JZX101 chaser, sorry, GX101 chaser, uh, you're interested in putting a Alteza or IS200 uh, LSD in it. So the short answer is yes, you can. And yes, it will fit, but, but, there's a few things you need to do, or just consider. So when we're talking about uh, diff codes like A101 or B01, A01, A, that sort of thing, uh, they're, they're chassis specific. So with a Lexus IS200 or Alteza, for example, A01A is a open center, uh, I think they're 3.9, and it's a seven and a half inch crown wheel. If you look at a um, the factory IS200 limited slip or the um, Alteza limited slip, it'll be something like a A01 O1 or A02B. Uh, the O2 is the uh, ring gear ratio. B or A in this particular instance denotes if it's a open center or a limited slip. Now that's all well and good for that chassis. When you look at, so they're both seven and a half inch crown wheels. When you look at an IS300, again same chassis, it's B03B. So that means B, in this case, this chassis, B means eight inch crown wheel. O3 is the 3.56 ratio. B means LSD, right? So B O3 B. Um, now I'm using my memory here, so I may have got some of those mixed up. Apologies for that. I'll clarify it in comments and descriptions, things like that. So when we're looking at uh, GX101 or JZX, 100 JZ that that sort of sha that chassis the A's and B's get confused basically the NA chasers had seven and a half inch crown wheels so the A diff from a Alteza will fit an NA chaser GX or JZX 101 for example as long as it had the NA motor even if that's the 2.5 VVT 1J, 1JZ GE uh, or the um, 1G FE. Uh, and I believe also, I'm not gonna say it, but I think the JZX 101 with the uh, 2JZ GE had an eight inch diff. I think, I think, never actually seen one. Um, there's plenty around, but I haven't seen one to confirm that. So what I'm saying is those chassis, the diff codes, A01A, B02A, blah, 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 they're all specific to chassis. So if you're talking about an A diff and a B diff in a JZ, uh, sorry, in a JZA80, for example, you're talking the eight inch, which is their A version diff, and the 8.8 inch or whatever it is, the, the big diff is the B diff, which is the, the TT six speed manual diff. Um, or it might just be the, the TT diff in the JZA80. So when you're mixing chassis, you gotta be a bit careful when you're talking about, oh, an A01A fits my A01A, but it's out of a different chassis. So it could actually be a completely different size. So, Back to my point, and this is why I wanted to make a little video on it and not actually type it because it'll take too long to type. Yes, you can put 
the Altesa diff into your NA chaser. It is the same seven and a half inch crown wheel. The only thing is the IS200 or Altesa platform, uh, it will physically bolt into your chaser cradle, but the nose, so the pinion flange, is actually about 10 or 12 millimeters short. So, not the end of the world, it's better to be too short than too long. I don't know if there's gonna be enough room in your tail shaft to um, take up that difference. So you might need to, for example, um, undo the two bolts that hold your center bearing, and they're, they're usually like uh, eyelet sort of tabs in that center bearing, and sort of move the tail shaft back a little bit, um, because it's in the gearbox like that much, and honestly with a 1G, uh, not gonna have too many problems with that, to be honest with you. Um, if it's too much though, and there's not enough room to take that up, you might need to have a machine spacer with the four bolt pattern of the diff flange, um, the, sorry, the, the pinion flange, and four longer bolts that you'll then put through there. Sort of like a wheel spacer um, that'll just adapt the, 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 the difference. Okay, so that's what you're gonna have to do there. Now, the axles, a lot of, um, the limited slip diffs that I've seen in the Altezas all had six bolt um, drive shafts, which are actually a different six bolt PCD to the six bolt drive shafts in the Chaser turbos. Um, so again, the eight inch Chaser diff is a six bolt. The seven and a half inch limited slip Alteza diff is a six bolt. Most of them that I've seen, right? That's not a problem because, actually it is. Because usually the, the Torsen diffs have a longer, uh, well actually that's only the T1s. Yeah. Okay, so usually the Torsen diffs have a different uh, half shaft that goes into the diff to the open center diffs. And what I was thinking in my head was, for example, if you had the NA Chaser and it had four bolt drive shafts, which is pretty common with the IS uh, Alteza chassis, the open centers usually have four bolt drive shafts. And just to fuck with you even more, excuse the French, uh, there's actually two different versions of the four bolt. One that's like four by 110 and one that's four by 115 just a little bit bigger. I found that out. I've got another video about that. I'll put in the link um, when I broke a diff, sorry, broke an axle. So what you might have to do is just have a look because if you're getting an, uh, an Alteza uh, Torsen LSD, chances are, if it's, sorry, if it's a Torsen LSD that you're getting, um, chances are it'll be a T2 type, which is a more modern type. Um, and I, I honestly, I'd have to, I'd have to confirm what the half shafts look like. I think they might be more in line with the, um, with the open center shafts. I know the older JZX 100 T1 Torsen, which everyone breaks because uh, they're kind of rubbish in comparison to the T2 type. Um, those ones have specific drive shafts that have to go with that Torsen diff. And anyone that wants to put a mechanical aftermarket LSD in a chaser needs to usually get, uh, sorry, they need to get an open center diff and put a Tome or Cusco or TRD two-way into that diff and then put that into their car with the open drive shaft, uh, open center drive shafts. So yeah, you might have to do a little bit of homework on that. Um, sorry, I'm not a bit of a good help in that respect but all things considered I think you can do it because like I said it's still a seven and a half inch crown wheel it's still a, um, it'll fit with that spacer on the diff flange the splines going into the um, half shafts you can pop the half shafts out of your current diff and put the half shafts into the new diff um, as long as that LSD, like we're talking ones like five or six mil bigger 
or shorter than the open center diff version. So just just pay attention to that. You might be able to just swap them out and then you don't need to worry about changing your drive shafts. You just put the drive shafts and the half shafts that you have in your car onto the new diff with the pinion spacer and you'll be fine. So, wow, that was like 10 minutes or so of explaining. So I hope I did actually clarify a few points. Um, comment on it below. If you're more confused or something, reach out to me on email. I'm uh, more than happy to run through it again, or maybe we can set up some sort of chat or something like that to um, just have a bit of uh, bit of discussion about that. It's kind of a bit, a bit hard when it's one-sided. So anyway, hope that helps. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you soon.